In part seven of The Book Thief, the emotional stakes are heightened as the story delves into themes of guilt, fear, and survival under an oppressive regime. The narrative unfolds with Hans Huberman's ongoing anxiety after the departure of Max Vandenberg, the Jewish man they had been hiding. Hans's turmoil is palpable as he copes with the dread that the Gestapo, the notorious secret police, might arrive at any moment due to his actions in aiding Max. Hans spends a sleepless night at the kitchen table, haunted by his decision, questioning whether his sacrifice was necessary or if it was simply an exercise in tragic futility. This act of waiting is symbolic of the heavy burden of choice and consequence, underscoring Hans's humanity and his role as a protector, despite his overwhelming feelings of powerlessness. Liesel, meanwhile, finds herself entrenched in the complex interplay between fear and faith. She prays desperately for Max's safety, embodying hope and innocence. Her morning discovery of Hans collapsed at the kitchen table, exhausted and guilt-ridden, paints a vivid picture of the heavy emotional costs borne by those resisting tyranny. Their relationship evolves in this chapter as Liesel becomes a source of comfort for Hans, mirroring the reversal of roles where the child becomes an emotional anchor for the adult. This shift highlights Liesel's maturity and the symbiotic relationship she shares with Hans, akin to the moral and emotional support he previously provided her. As the tension lingers, the narrative outreach extends beyond the walls of the Huberman household with the mention of the coded men, the ominous presence of the Gestapo on the street. Liesel's frantic warning to her papa that they're here encapsulates the pervasive sense of dread. In an ironic twist of fate, their target is not Hans, but Rudy Steiner, emblematic of the unpredictable and impersonal nature of the Gestapo's actions. This incident serves to highlight the indiscriminate cruelty of the regime, as Rudy, a character of pure heart and youthful courage, becomes a pawn in the Nazi machinery. This section of the novel delves deeply into the moral ambiguity faced by ordinary individuals under extraordinary pressures. The decisions made by Hans and their aftermath exemplify the internal conflict between doing what is right and fearing the repercussions of those actions. This part of the narrative not only advances the plot, but also reinforces the theme of powerlessness against an encroaching darkness that leaves its mark on every character. Hans's regret and hope that he has not endangered Max unnecessarily add a poignant layer to his character, revealing both his kindness and his despair. The themes of resistance, guilt, and the loss of innocence are woven through this chapter, interlacing the lives of the characters with larger historical forces at play. Liesel's concern for Rudy, as the Gestapo seek him out, signifies the unpredictable nature of war and its relentless impact on the innocent. These experiences open her eyes to the gravity of the world around her, marking a significant point in her development from a naive child to a young woman grappling with the harsh realities of life under Nazi rule. In essence, this part of The Book Thief is a powerful exploration of human emotions under siege. It presents a delicate balance between fear and hope, love and duty, illuminating the resilience of individuals who rise to meet extraordinary challenges, even when their actions might seem inconsequential in the face of overwhelming odds. The narrative invites readers to reflect on the moral complexities and emotional scars of those living under coercion, leaving a lasting impact long after the last page is turned. That's all for today. If you liked this bookly chapter summary, please let me know by pressing the like button or leaving a comment down below.